Welcome to Admissions and 15 Adventures. Of course they get hot when they lose, Dave. Winning team gets $10,000 per person. That's why Suzanne Summers, Summers of Freeze Company. City. Valerie Bertinelli for CBS for the start of the swimming competition. Remember? Lyle Wagner in lane two, Pat Duffy in lane three. Start critically important. And they're off. Good start back. Building up the lead for CBS. Trailing there, you can see ABC. That was little Christy McNichol. Now the fourth lap. Still leading. Valerie Bertinelli for CBS in the middle lane. Way back there is Michelle Phillips for NBC. Struggling, struggling, struggling. Bad stroke and she's dead tired. She is dying. And CBS comes into the final two. Suzanne Summers was on the ABC team. Remember, she led off. She cheered Parker to that victory. And Suzanne Summers, well, look. Suzanne happens to be an excellent young poetess. Her favorite color is peach, and she is a peach, a developing major personality in television. Let's meet her up close, personal. I get up every morning about six, sometimes a little before, and I exercise. I do the minimum that I can do because I really hate it. I hate, I hate exercising. But I had a problem of gaining 20 pounds a year ago, and my vanity took over and pulls me through the calisthenics every morning. so much into a day. You know, it comes from all those years of not working that finally now that I'm working, I try to fit as much as I can possibly fit into one day. But I think more than I hate exercising, I hate running. I hate running with a passion. I go in spurts where I exercise every morning and then I, I uh, kind of get sidetracked with chocolate sundaes and and lots of whipped cream and sour cream on my potatoes and things that I have a weakness. One of my favorite things to do is eating. <laughs> You're a pinup girl now for teenagers all over this country. You're aware of that. Well, it's interesting. I didn't realize it until I was in Vancouver. I got mobbed by teenagers, and I realized that our show represents what is just around the corner to them. We are two girls and a guy living together in a non-sexual situation, so therefore, it's very attractive to them, it's very safe. Mm -hmm. Whereas when I was raised that you will grow up, get married and live happily ever after, that's not necessarily the, the same thing with the kids now. So I think that's probably why we're so successful. Uh, At the same time, what's the impact upon your son Bruce, who after all is 11? That, right, it's interesting that the kids who are hanging me on the wall are the same age as my own son. And, and it's, it's, it's curiosity to me. He's handling it very well, I think. Uh, his friends all say, hey, your mom's really a fox. And he's still trying to say, yeah, but she's my mom. Suzanne Summers. Her first book of poetry was called Touch Me. Okay, back to the competition.